Hi guys, welcome to Tech Week. So today we are back with a daily food challenge problem that substring with concatenation of all words. This is a really tough question that actually could hard 30 but the comparative of all other hard this was a little tricky one. So make sure you understand concepts easily and try to hold it out yourself because this is one of uh, the brainstorming questions. So maybe this could be asked in big companies or specifically the fan ones. Let's see what the question says. The question says you are given string S and an array of strings with the same, of the same length. Okay. Return all starting indices of substring S. That is a concatenation of each word in words. Exactly once but in any order without any intervening characters. Now let's see what and we have to return the answer in any order. Now see what they mean to say is okay first let's see this they have a string that's bar to the who bar man okay we have an array of words who and bar now as they said all the words will have the same length so here the length is three okay we need to have if we concatenate these two in any order so one is this second is this so we need to search for this string as a substring here. So we get this and we get this. We got this, so we need to give the starting index of these two strings when found. So one is found on 0, second is found on 9. So that's what we need to do. Now what if we have one more word that's the? Okay, okay, let's come here and check this out. So this was our string and talking about array of strings. So our array of string was sorry foo bar and let's take the third concept when we have the also. Okay. So now we have three things. We have array that's string uh, of strings and we have a string now talking about this particular thing what could be the possibility that comes up okay so now let's see about the possibility we have three strings we need to find the concatenation of these strings concatenation could be this Bar to the bar to two and then taking B as the first one, we get these three possibilities here, right? We need to search for these three in our string. First is who bar D. Now, first what we will do, we look for this foo. But here we have the so this won't work. Coming to the second. After two we have the but the third one is bar here, it's not there. These two are not there. Then coming to bar to D. Look for bar. Second is two, third is D. Yeah, we found this one. Starting index zero. Your array should contain zero. Second one bar the foo not possible. D bar two not possible. D foo bar possible. Yeah. D foo bar. The starting index of this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our answer for this case should be 0, 1, 6. If you look here. Now, obviously we are not going to generate each and every and then do the same thing. For this, what we need to do, we need to make use of the things that are given to us. The very first thing that was given to us for the array of words, the length of each word is same. So to find the num, sorry, not the number, we have the length. So to find the length of the substring, the length of the substring will be actually words zero dot length. That's the first word into words dot. 
guys the number of elements in this into words of 0 not left okay that's 3 into 3 for the first case in the case we saw it's 9 that means from here till here we have 9 so if we are searching for any particular element if the starting it as 0 the ending would be at 0 plus so ending would be at 0 plus 9 that means all we can actually say this also because we are taking this question this is how we find the length of the substring now if we know the length of the substring we must know how to iterate and approach towards it right so this could be easily done using a hash map what we could do we could declare a hash map declare a hash map that stores all the words in your And the occurrence. So your hash map will be like string comma integer. We can have two occurrences of this word also. So that's why we are taking the occurrence also. Because we know how many times we need to count it. This is the first thing. Now what we will do, we'll check for all possible substrings in the string. Check for all possible substrings in S, let's say the string was S, which has a length equal to this, or we can say of length, because we found the length by words.length. Words of zero dot length into words dot length. Now we we'll create another hash map. Now this hash map we can say temporary hash map or anything, and we will initialize it with the original hash map that was the initial one for every possible substring. For every possible substring will do the same. Okay. Now, the fourth part that you would be doing is you extract the words from the substring. Extract the words from the substring. You have a substring. Extract its words. Extract words from it. And once you find the word, increase count or you can say occurrence in your hash map that means now you have one the requirement is fulfilled you need to get one more and if it's not present okay, if it's not present we simply avoid the substring if it's not there then obviously avoid or you can say increase once you have traversed this we will look at the temporary hash map okay the temporary or you can say the another one hash map and we'll see that if there's any key, we look here, and if there's any key whose count is still greater than zero, that means we still couldn't find it. There was some possibility that we could not uh, traverse the whole, then we obviously came across a word that was not present. In it. Okay. So for this, we ignore it. So this is your concept that we'll be following. Let's look at one of solution that's made it clear. Okay. So first we'll take this need. Need is actually checking the numbers and then storing the count. Window. Window is actually the words that we'll be checking. The second one. Okay. First what we'll do we'll iterate words in need, we'll put it. If it's already there, then increment. Otherwise, place it as C. Now, list of indices. That's your result that you need to learn. Now, what you have, you have L, R, valid, length, and 
from. So obviously L R Y L R S at for your length of the substring, beginning and end, you know that valid is zero. Length is your initial how many uh, words you need to do. If your write is less than this, so it will iterate from starting to end, so you need to keep count. And you will check if it's not uh, you can say not equal to the need dot length and obviously this is going out of bound then what you uh, it's less than sorry it's not going out of bound then in that case you'll increment right uh, the right counter and find the substring again and for ends you find the substring what we need to do first we check is the need containing that substring here is that actually required and if yes then in the window what we do we place it and check for this particular value that how much do we require that is it less still Again, put it in the window with your incremented. Once you found more, put it. Again, you'll check if they are equal. If the words you found were equal, that means in need as well as window, the occurrence becomes equal. Increment the value. If it doesn't, come into a point when it's not required. Then what you do? You skip that first word. Begin from the second one, and then again. Now, why do we clear? Because let's say for this substring, we got one part that was required, another was not required. So we won't consider these possibilities. That's why we are clearing this string and sorry, this list and again beginning with the second one. That's a map sorry. And here we'll make valid zero because that was not what we counted. Now, once we'll check if the valid is equal to the need dot size, that means the requirements were equal. All the substrings are. Done then indices should add these and once indices are done we we'll increment and again clear it and check for the second one and do that's what when we return the indices that's what is required if in case I was doubt now talking about what would be the length so your time complexity for this would be order of n that's your length of the string minus k k is the length of all the words that's n into word dot length into that's all the time these words are this is your time complex for this sentence you can find a sliding with the solution as well as um, you have one more solution that's 2.1 in your uh, deep code you can even go through it this is quite tough so it could be tricky enough but this solution goes up quite well because it's understandable, not a lengthy code. So I guess you guys can easily cope up with how and what is to be done. Still, there are any queries? Do let me know in the comment box. Thank you.